guys welcome back to my channel is your girl ashley if you're a returning subscriber thank you for clicking on my video thank you for coming back and if you're new here thank you too and i hope you join this family before you leave so in today's video i want to talk about how i, I want to share with you guys how i boost my toddler's immune system especially what what is happening around now like immune system her immune system everyone's immune system is a top priority but i don't joke with hers and it has always been like that i just try to be more intentional now and disclaimer i'm not a nutritionist or a, a medical professional i'm just a mom that trying to do the best for her child and i thought i'd share with you guys yeah i mean kids are prone to you know touching dead putting things in their mouth catching cold cough and any thing flying around so i just try to make sure she's as safe as possible to reduce you know how getting sick and all that so i'm going to share what i do or how i do it in a very affordable way with you guys yes because when i went online to try and figure out what i can do what i can be giving her i was seeing a lot of, a lot of things that i cannot relate with especially in this part of the world in nigeria either these things are not available or if they are available they are imported so they are really expensive and things like that they're not pocket friendly not that like so so expensive but they're not pocket friendly so i have to figure out something that will always work for me something that i won't have to you know break a bank before i can buy these things for her because she needs to be taking them like every day and the first thing is fruits our own local fruits that we have here once in a while yes i can give her them strawberries blueberries but i try to give her as much local fruits as i can things like orange orange contains a lot of vitamin c the majority of the nutrients you get from orange is vitamin c so i give her orange as often as possible but i dilute it because I notice that if I don't dilute it, it kind of, kind of irritates her tummy. So I try to add a little bit of water so that it won't be as you know, concentrated as it is naturally. I give her apple. Apple is currently her favorite. I give her lots of apple. I can give her apple every day for seven days straight. Give her apple. Um, I know apple is not local here, but you know, at least that one is still pocket friendly. I give her um, watermelon. She loves to eat watermelon. She loves to eat. Um, what other foods? Banana, yes, she loves to eat banana. She used to love banana a lot. She doesn't, you know, find it that interesting anymore. But she still tries to eat a little bit every time I offer her. But yeah, what I don't joke with is orange. I try to give her as much orange as I can. Penelope is also something like she eats too much. She stools, so I don't give her so much. But yes, I give her as much as she can, just so that you know all the nutrients that I give, all the vitamin D, vitamin see the calcium and everything you know so she gets it then something else i do especially if i feel like okay she's not taking as much orange or as much fruits that give it and see as she's supposed to in the last couple of days i supplement yes i try to give her this i don't know if you guys can see it i give her this vitamin c i can just if i feel like she's not taking vitamin c a lot lately i can just give her one every day yeah, but when I when she's coming down with something, maybe I notice her nose is stuffy or she's just sneezing a lot. I give her like three, two or three times a day for a couple of days and it stops. But when there's nothing wrong with her, she's not reacting to anything. But I just feel like she has not been taking orange a lot of orange lately. I give her this for just one a day, one dose a day. Yeah. Then something else that I try to do is to limit her sugar and junk food. Yes. I found out when she was still a lot younger that you know I was trying to you know how people talk about you know sugar how it makes children hyperactive and all that I never really understood it so I decided to go and find out and I now stumbled on an article or a couple of articles that now said it actually reduces their immune system too much of sugar reduces their immune system sugar and junk food you know what junk food is now so all these things reduces their immune system so I try to you know limit it as much as possible I see a lot of people um, or I've, I've been with a lot of around a lot of people that you know acted somehow when they find find out that my daughter doesn't drink Fanta. Is what Fanta supposed to be for her? Like I don't get it. So all of that is not necessary. If she's going to drink juice, she should better drink a healthier option you know, than 
sweetened one so yes i limit her sugar to the barest minimum as a matter of fact she does not take raw sugar that one is not she has never tasted raw sugar in any of her food in any of her drink in anything but sweet things i limit it as much as possible i don't completely do, you know stop her from taking it she eats cake you know she can eat whatever she wants to eat but I just make it really small bare minimum like if she has eaten it already during the day nothing will make me give her later in the evening maybe because her dad is around or someone is offering her i'm like no she has taken enough for today so yes i reduce that it reduces the immune system and i heard that it also had some effects on their psychological performance as they grow older so guys please if you want to read further you can do that but sugar too much sugar and junk food is not good for our babies i try to feed her with a lot of vegetables now i don't do okay i must give her all the vegetables because i noticed that there are some things that she doesn't like and if I start forcing her to eat these things, even though forcing her is not easy, but every time I force her to eat it, I notice that she starts having a bad, bad relationship with food. She starts seeing food as a punishment, which I don't want. So since I've figured out the ones that she prefers, which for now is carrot and cucumber, I just continue stuffing her with them. Like, okay, this is what you like, no problem. You're going to get it non-stop until you you know figure out something else you like to eat so yes i give her a lot of carrots i parboil it she's so smart teeth are still tender so i parboil it so it will be slightly soft slice it but still in a way that she can hold and just give her to chew carrots then cucumber i just slice and give it to her so this is what i give her in form of vegetables to boost boost her in. another thing that i don't joke with is giving her lots of milk like like milk the importance of milk doesn't end when the clock runs. No, it's still important for as long as possible. Even as adults, we're supposed to be taking as much milk as we can. So I don't joke with giving her milk. I make sure that every blessed day she gets one bottle of milk. No matter what she eats, no matter what you know food she had that day that already involved milk, maybe her caramel or her cereal that already added milk. I do not care. I will still give her a bottle of milk. Milk gives them passion, milk gives them vitamin D, milk gives them protein, so I don't joke with it. And thank God there are so many options out there. So there are some that you just buy according to your pocket, according to what you can afford. Just make sure you're buying age-appropriate milk. Yeah, age-appropriate milk. All the milks have ages, so just make sure you're buying age-appropriate milk. So I don't joke with giving her milk, it's really important. So let's try and give our kids as much milk as we can. Then another thing is giving her lots of water, yes lots and lots of water as much as she wants to drink i do not stop her except if i notice she's drinking water to replace food but other than that i allow her drink as much water as she wants to drink it's really important it even helps her when she's going to the toilet like she does not have to strain herself and all that so yeah water is really important then another thing is lots of sleep they need sleep sleep helps their immune system getting enough sleep of the immune system. I've seen a lot of places that say babies are supposed to get 12 hours of sleep and thank Jesus, mine gets 12, 13, sometimes 14 hours of sleep a day. They are not saying it must be 12 hours at a stretch, but yes, by the time I put all the hours of sleep she gets a, a day, 12 hours minimum, 14 hours maximum. So yes, sleep is really important for them. It really helps their immune system. Then another thing is sun. They need sun and i know this might be difficult for stay home moms like me like you don't have anywhere to go to so where are you going to get the sun from and all that but please let's try and take a walk with them that's what i do even if it's just very short distance just from my house to my gates but that is still enough sun by the time i go back and forth as about two three minutes of walk for me because of where i stay so yes it's really important that you know they get sunlight then something else that I I try to give her a lot of is zinc. Yes, yeah, zinc has so many um, health benefits and it helps to keep their immune system strong. So I try to give her foods that provide her with zinc. Foods like beef, like chicken, like turkey, like cashew nuts, egg, yogurt. I also found out that the foods that provide zinc but that are animal-based digest better. Their, uh, their body absorbs it better than plant-based. So I try to give her more of beef, more of chicken, more of turkey than things like um, things like cashew nuts and every other thing that is plant based. So yes, but whatever the case is, zinc is really important and our body does not provide or produce zinc. I don't know if I'm using the right um, verb, but our body does not produce um, zinc. So it's from what we eat. 
that is why I try to give her as much as possible. And hallelujah, she loves meat. So I give her chicken, I give her beef, every opportunity I get just to provide safe for her. Yeah. So guys, these are the things that I try to do. These are the affordable things that I try to do to provide her with a very healthy immune system that can fight whatever it needs to fight. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.